Hello. For large parts of the country, it's a dry and a bright Monday, a bit of sunshine around in places as well, and it's still pretty mild. However, there's some fairly damp conditions persisting across eastern England, and there is quite a bit more rain to come, especially across northern Britain during Tuesday and Wednesday. The Met Office have a number of warnings in place, including an amber warning across parts of Scotland, where we could see 80 to maybe 120 millimetres of rain. And that is likely to cause some further disruption and some further flooding. Let's get back to Monday's weather. However, this swirl of cloud is out in the Atlantic. That will bring the wet weather on Tuesday and Wednesday. Then we've got a little bit of a gap, bringing many places a bit of a respite. This line of rain uh, brought a fairly soggy start to Monday across a chunk of England, but it is fizzling out as it pushes its way eastward. Still pretty damp from Lincolnshire down to Kent, uh, but even here that rain is easing off by the end of the afternoon. Brightening up then across northeast England, Wales, southwest England, a good part of Scotland, Northern Ireland, seeing some sunny spells, just a few showers in the far northwest. And it is pretty mild out there as well. Temperatures up into the teens in a few places before it clouds over across East Anglia. And generally we're looking at 9 or 10 Celsius, so above average for this time of year. Now, through the night, we'll finally lose that patchy rain across East Anglia and the southeast. Many places will be clear for a time. That'll allow temperatures to drop for a time, but um, by morning, look at this big area of wet weather sweeping into Northern Ireland and Western Scotland. The wind starting to pick up as well. That will actually help to lift the temperatures. For a time, as I said, we'll drop down well into single figures. Even some pockets of frost are possible uh, across rural parts of the east. But uh, say generally temperatures rising through the night as this wet weather arrives, making for a very wet day for Northern Ireland and much of Scotland. Bit of snow likely over the hills. Uh, but it's rain for the most part, heavy and persistent rain and a strong wind as well. So there are Met Office warnings in place for both wind and rain, including the amber warning across parts of southern Scotland and north of the central belt as well. The rain just keeps on coming through Tuesday and into Wednesday. We could see, as I said, 80 to maybe 120 millimetres of rain over hills, and that could cause some further disruption and the potential for flooding. Those gusty winds also likely to cause some disruption, especially across parts of Scotland, but very wet and windy too across North Wales, North West England by the end of Tuesday. Meanwhile, the bulk of England and Wales largely dry and will hang on to some sunshine across East Anglia and the South East. It will be windy, however, and that will temper the feel of the day somewhat. But look at these temperatures, double digits pretty much across the board. And again, a few places climbing into the teens. It really is quite mild for the time of year. Through Tuesday evening, that wet weather will slowly start to trickle further into parts of northern England, but persist across Scotland and Northern Ireland. Again, the brighter colours there suggesting some heavier bursts will keep going. So again, the potential for further disruption as we head into Wednesday. For all the details on those weather warnings, visit the Met Office website or download our app. And of course, make sure you're getting the very latest by following us on social media.